Harbor Freight gear doesn't suck. I'm gonna show you eight items that you can buy today from your local Harbor Freight that I've personally used that are perfect for your off-road adventure. I saw a video from Oxfoot and I personally loved his idea and I loved his concept, especially because there's a lot of us that are just getting started in off-roading and we need some budget gear. Number one has to be the roof basket. This thing is lightweight, it's affordable, and it gets the job done. I've had this for eight months. I even mounted an awning on top of it and it's held up wonderfully and for the price, you really can't beat it. Number two is the air compressor. It fits just about anywhere. It's lightweight. It plugs into your battery. And if you ever need this to air down on the trails and air back up, it's very affordable and easy to use. Number three is the bottle jack. This thing is small, compact, and it's not really bulky. And in case you ever need to change out a tire, this is much better than a high lift jack or a regular jack where it's going to take up a lot of space. And it's affordable. Number four is the mini shovel. These things are great for recovery gear, especially if you don't have that much space. I personally use this for a full half day out in the snow. Not what you think. I was actually building a snow fort with my nieces and nephews, but hey, that's why we buy gear to have fun and to enjoy the outdoors. Number five, the fireman's axe. It looks super cool. I haven't had the chance to personally use it yet in an off-road situation, but it feels sturdy and I have no doubt that this thing will hold up in an emergency. I also like having the peace of mind that it's in the back of my Jeep at all times. Number six, the tow hitch receiver and recovery rope. If you can't afford a winch or is it wench? I don't know. I've heard both. Let me know in the comments below. This thing is perfect for the just in case and it's very affordable. Number seven, the headlamp. I personally use this when I work on my Jeep or my Land Cruiser. It's plenty of bright for what I need it and when I'm working on my car and the battery life isn't bad. You could also use this for camping or anything else that requires hands-free lighting. Number eight, the pencil lamp. I'm actually really impressed with this lamp and I've used it many times when looking for things on my Land Cruiser or my Jeep. It's very affordable, compact, and I love that it's rechargeable because I hate buying batteries. That's it. Those are the eight items from Harbor Freight that I personally used that don't suck, that are perfect for your off-roading or camping adventures. Now, as always, guys, do your research. Don't just take my word for it. And if you don't need it, don't go out and buy it. I'm a big fan of only buying what you need. As you guys know, I don't generally make videos about this. I make videos about Land Cruisers and Land Cruiser repairs. So if you're into that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. And if you're not, and if you found this video helpful, at least give me a like or a thumbs up because you know, hitting that like button is very affordable. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you taking the time and watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. Be safe out there. This video is not sponsored by Harbor Freight Tools, Harbor Freight Inc. or Harbor Freight Calabasas, California. The views in the video and the video of the views is not sponsored by anybody in the video or the views. Harbor Freight, please send me a watch. Thank you.